And you know, Jews don't have but 25 verses. verses. I tell anybody, if you haven't read the book of Jude, you, you're missing a great word. Amen. And it was talking about times like we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. Coming up into the last events. And it deals with something that we have to contend with. Verse 17 through Amen. 25 read something like this. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These uh -huh. be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the spirit. Amen. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, yes. loving for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. unto eternal life. Yes. And of some have compassion, yeah. making a difference. And others say with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. Amen. Amen. I want to talk on the thought. Let's make a difference. Amen. 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 I don't know if you have ever thought about the responsibility that you have, but we have a grave responsibility. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of us are playing church. Some of us, amen, play in such a way, amen, we don't really regard the church in the way it should be regarded. Yeah. I saw a tendency now, people who didn't grace the church, amen, during this corona outbreak, want to come back to the church and be funeralized. Uh, oh yeah. I don't know if they think that by coming now is going to make a difference. Amen. But I remember two thieves mm -hmm. All right now. All on, right. on a cross. Yeah. One of them used the subjunctive mode of saying if mm -hmm. thou be the Christ. Save yourself and us. Amen. He put a condition on his salvation and the other thief just said, Lord, remember me. Yes, yes, yes. Thou come into paradise. Jesus didn't even answer the one that gave the if. No. Yeah. There you go. Say it now. But he answered think the about one think about that said, remember me. Amen. What I'm, I'm trying to say is, you got to be careful how you deal with God. Yes, sir. Get it, get it, get it. The thief on the cross didn't know that he was talking to the son of the living God. Yeah. He had doubt in his mind and he wanted God to prove himself, but God had proved himself in so many other opportunities and times. I, I submit today that God has proven himself to you. I'm going this way because I, I need to challenge you in such a way because sometimes when preachers preach, you get angry with them because they direct Amen. What the message is saying directly to you, yeah. and you don't want to hear what they got to say. Right. Well, you can stop your ears. Right. You could have brought them little things that you can stick in your ears. Yeah. Whatever you wanted to have brought. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But one thing I found out God's word is still going to go forward. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I looked around at the funeral on yesterday, and and and. Uh, the crowd, you, you, you got more people here today than it was there. And wasn't nothing wrong with that. I had to make sure that the folk who came knew 
that it was not about numerical equations Amen. about the funeral enterprise. Amen. I said, it is not about that. You pay your respects. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But the Bible said, give honor to whom honor is due. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Respect Amen. to whom respect Amen. is due and tribute Amen. to whom tribute is due. Amen. 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 But I dare tell you now, Amen. In life you will reap what you sow. What you sow. Amen. 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 I often told you about the fact that there's something called a boomerang. Amen. It'll come back and hit you. Amen. Yeah. Hey man, if you're not very careful, there is a boomerang effect. Amen. Yeah. Hey yeah. And the sad thing about life is you can either make it into heaven mm -hmm. and stay there. All right, now or you can merely go by heaven yeah. and be kicked out of there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey yeah. So yeah. that's how you're gonna be kicked out. Well, you're going to go to the judgment. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if you find yourself at the wrong judgment, uh, you merely went by heaven. Yes. Amen. 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 To go Amen. to hell. Amen. Amen. Because everybody that says, Lord, Lord, not are not going to enter their end. Amen. Heaven is real. Yes. Yes. Amen. I know you said, well, it's hell down here. <laughs> but heaven is real. I had to let the class know the other night there is a spiritual man and there is a carnal man or woman. Amen. I said, you will not be able to understand the spiritual, amen, until you get the carnal out of the way. Amen. The word of God is spirit. Amen. 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 It is Amen. God's Amen. word and it is spirit. Yes. And sometimes you might not understand what is being said and you'll have to question what, what is he talking about? But he's talking about something that you cannot comprehend right. because you are carnal. Amen. You're thinking from a carnal perspective and what it does is it irritates you because you really can't glimpse or understand of what that man or person is saying. Amen. Amen. For God has a powerful word here. Let's make a difference. Yeah. I don't know if you even know you can make a difference. Amen. 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 The, the devil is so deceitful. He'll make us think that we can't make a difference. Yes. 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 Do you know I learned that you can just learn how to smile? Amen. And make a difference. Yes. You can come to service and amen and do like uh, uh, amen some of our musicians and just have a broad smile on your face. Yeah. And you'll find out it makes a difference because people are watching your facial expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. They're trying to see what you are about. Some of them can't, amen, discern spiritually, but they can discern physically. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes they're because of the fact that they're not capable or able to be able to discern spiritually, they really relegate all of their attention on what they see. Amen. And all seeing ain't believing. Y'all do know that, don't you? Amen. 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 I heard a news reporter saying the other day, and I get into this text. He says, talking to a lady that was at the rally for Trump, he said, what are you doing? What are you up? Well, President Trump, he's up there and he's marching us to the Capitol. And, and he's leading us up there to take back our country. <laughs> the woman told another analyst that he's up there. I saw him get in his car. <laughs> Go back to the White House. They went up there and <laughs> to wreak havoc. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. In her mind, yeah. she thought he was up there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He was in an office, uh -huh. safe and secure, yeah. Yeah. watching them. Uh -huh. Amen. Poster themselves on the news. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. I think that we got to be very careful. Yeah. Of how we listen to people. Amen. 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 
Because everybody don't have your best interest All right, now. at home. That's right. Amen. 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 Have any of y'all ever been lied to? Amen. Lied on? Amen. Talked about? Amen. Amen. You ought to learn from that experience. Yes. Now, if you didn't learn, it was because you got mad. <laughs> that could be your Achilles heel. Amen. Don't get mad. Don't get even. Amen. Get an understanding. When they lie or talk you down, don't bend back. Amen. Listen to them and sit back and pray for them. Amen. Don't pray on them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Amen. 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 And then when the opportunity presents itself for you to do good for them, do good. Do good to them. Amen. The Bible says if you do good to those that do evil yeah. to you, yeah. he'll make them your footstool. Yeah. I would much rather walk up on somebody yeah. and get to where I'm going uh -huh. than to be stuck like Chuck yeah. 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 fighting with them yeah. over yeah. rhetoric. Yeah. 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 yeah, just verbal conversation. Uh -huh. But to make a difference, amen, we need to deal with some things that we have faced in life. And what I want to say is, Y'all are unreal. Y'all are some kind of church. Y'all know that? Yeah. Can't compliment you enough of how you persevered and stuck to it. Amen? Amen. We went through some trying times. Yes. The devil yes. has went up and yes. the pandemic and amen. people are actually becoming, amen, more prevalent to Amen. The coronavirus. Uh -huh. Amen. It's because we're not doing what we're supposed to. We're not wearing our masks. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The only reason I don't have mine on now is because I'm speaking. Yeah. Other than that, I'm going to have my mask on. Amen. 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 I'm going to sanitize. Yeah. Keep it with me all the time. Yeah. yeah. I keep mine with me. Uh -huh. Just to make sure that if I touch some things that haven't been wiped down yeah. by the people who clean this building, uh -huh. at least I can wash my own hands yeah. to make sure I'm safe. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Now, I didn't say I did all that to prevent anything, but my number one focus is God. Amen. Amen. See, I need God because I can't remember everything. Amen. I can't see the virus, so I need a God Amen. who will protect me, amen. Amen. who will sustain me, and, and preserve me. I, I need a God. Amen. And every last one of you need a God. Yes, sir. Amen. Believe that, amen. You amen. need God. Amen. Events that are transpiring in our lives. Yes. That God is molding and shaping us into the instruments to do his work. Amen. Yes, amen. And service in kingdom building. Amen. We're all better than we used to be. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. I'm reminded that the spiritual life of the Christian parallels and complements uh -huh. the physical life of an individual. Uh -huh. All of us need some spiritual goal. Amen. If you're not a believer, God has a goal for you right. and your life. He wants you to come a believer. He wants yes, you to accept him as his personal Lord and Savior yeah. and be saved. The Bible tells us in 2 Peter 3, 9, B, amen, that God is not willing that any should perish, amen. but that all might come unto repentance. Right. Do you know that, amen, the two examples I gave you about the thief on the right and the thief on the left of the cross did this very thing. Yeah. One of them repented. Right. And the other one said if. Yeah. He questioned God while the other thief said I am a sinner. And he rebuked the other thief saying that we are getting what we deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Rightfully so. you got to be able to say what you are. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Pretending to be something that you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
is only lying to yourself. Amen. Amen. I don't care how good you can keep it up. I don't care how persuasive you are. Amen. You're going to have to meet a God. Amen. That you will never be able to deceive. Amen. And he knows exactly who we are. Amen. Amen. After dark, he knows. Amen. In the morning, he knows. Amen. At noonday, he knows. Amen. Even in the afternoon hours, Amen. he knows. Amen. He knows who we are. So the Bible tells us, Amen, that God wants all of us to be saved. So the first spiritual goal for some, one who has not accepted Jesus Christ is to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and acknowledge the fact that he hung, bled, and died on a hill called Calvary. And then after three days and three nights, rose from a cold grave. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes, we need to listen to what he does. Amen. Now, Jesus can make a difference yes. in our lives. Yes. And he has made a difference. Yes. We have to understand that he made the difference. Yes. And because he yes. made that difference, we are sold out yes. on making a difference yes. in somebody else's life. Yes. I told Amen after I heard Amen uh, Pastor Jackson and Pastor Jackson again on yesterday. I told them I thank God for my mother and father. Yes. And the Mount Moriah Baptist Church. Yes. Amen. amen. That, amen, kept praying for me. Yes. Kept working on me. Yes. I had uh, two women who really worked on me. Amen. Amen. And that was my mother and uh, Sister Bernice Wee. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. I had other mothers who prayed vigorously for me. Amen. Sister Hattie Dobson and yes. some of the Amen other women, Willie Silas and Amen uh, Wesley Smith's wife, Sister Smith. Uh -huh. Amen. They prayed for me vigorously yes. Yes. to help me to become who I am. Amen. And I thank them, Amen. And I said, oh. I thank God that Mom and Daddy cared enough about Amen uh, the Harper clan and the Jackson clan and the Whitfield clan, amen, amen, and all of the clans that were derived from the Whitfield Harper clan. Amen. I thank God for them, amen, and amen. putting enough effort to make sure that we made our way to the house of prayer. Amen. amen. They made sure that we understood who Jesus was. Amen. And for that reason, amen, we were bountifully blessed Yes. Just to be able to have a relationship with the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't take it for granted. Yes. Amen. And you shouldn't take it for granted either. No. And your living experience as it relates to someone sharing Jesus into your life. Yes. yes the believer of this local church, Mount Moriah, must believe uh -huh. that we are here to make a difference. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're not a social club place to right. play games or to pit our wits against yes. each other. Amen. We are not here, amen, amen, to merely to just have, amen, a common plight. But we're here to have fellowship and worship amen. and enjoy ourselves as we serve God. Amen. But our purpose is to make a difference in the lives of the people we come in contact with. Yes. Oh yes, amen. Yes. We do this through exalting the saved, equipping yes. the saints, evangelizing sinners, that they might be converted yes. as disciples to grow to workers yes. and leaders. Wow. Let's make a difference. Yes, yes sir. My variety harvest is plentiful. Yes. 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 But the laborers are few. Yes. Amen. I know some of you were probably decimated. When you saw so many people fleeing from the church. Yes. All over this country. Yes, sir. Yes. The devil ain't nothing but a trickster. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now they can march on Washington. Uh -huh. yes. But they can't go to church. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Clam the wall. Yeah. Yeah. 
dressed poor little white boys almost to death. Yeah. Screaming and hollering, beating them over the head with glass. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. But they can't go to the house of prayer. Okay. Because they said they are scared uh -huh. of the coronavirus. Uh -huh. They'll pack Walmart out, Target, yes, hey Amen. Mall, supermarkets. Yes, hey Amen. But they can't go to church. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be because they're scared uh, of the corona virus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They ride all up and down these highways. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Go to dog tracks. Yeah. Horse tracks. Yeah. Amen. Casino. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Fly all the way to Biloxi. Yeah. Girl, we gotta get on that plane. <laughs> I got to convince my wife that the plane is all right. Just working on it. Don't be all right. Don't be all right. The plane can only do two things, baby. Go up. I just, I just hope and pray. Let it land on his feet. Amen. 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 God will make a difference. Yeah. But I read in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. He right. says, Therefore, if any man or woman, boy or girl, be in Christ, yeah. they are new creatures. Yeah. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Yeah. What does it take today for us to make a difference? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked. Last time we told you, you had to stay in the race. Yeah. We needed to pray. We needed to stay focused. Uh -huh. I told you to never give up. That's right. And and to make a difference, amen. The first thing that you need to do is not become complacent. That's right. Complacent means content. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've gotten content. Coronavirus won't really let you. <laughs> you might have been content before it came. Yeah. Lazaristically coming to church when you got ready. Uh, Amen. Hey. Fighting folk and talking down folk. But now you don't know if the person you're talking about is going to live or die. Yeah. Yeah. Or you won't catch it yourself. Amen. Uh, right. Amen. 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 It's best just to keep your mouth off of everybody. Amen. 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 And keep your heart and mind focused on the Lord. Amen. 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 We need to do that, amen. amen. Some of us are so judgmental of others. Do you know you reap what you sow? <laughs> the same judgment you judge into another shall be what? Merited back unto thee. So now, how you judge somebody is going to be how God deals with you. Amen. I would much rather be someone who is a forgiving personality knowing that my God is going to forgive me. That's right. Now, I'm judging folk all the time, and that's all I do is talk people down, everybody but my own and myself. Right. Then you got to understand, you got to deal with God. Yeah. Well, you got to deal with the fact that, amen, when it comes to God dealing with you, yes. all right. amen, amen, you might not receive forgiveness because you have not exercised forgiveness. Amen. Amen. You know, in life, as long as we are satisfied with the way things are, you know, we will never change anything because we will never make a difference. Uh -huh. This is even true in and around the church. Uh -huh. Amen. Some of us are complacent. We're not concerned about our spiritual walk, growth. We should never be content with the level of devotion to God. Amen. Paul said in Romans 12, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's just reasonable service. Y'all know we owe God everything. But when it comes to time, it's 10%. That's what he asked for. Amen. I didn't ask for it. I might have to audibly say it to you. 
<laughs> but I wasn't the one that introduced him. Amen. 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 Malachi 3 and 10 says, Will a man rob God? Yes, his tithes and an offer. You go back to Leviticus, you're going to find out, amen, that the prophet, amen, introduced to us that it's 10% of what God wants. Yes. But when it comes to time, amen, you have to <laughs> check time out on the seventh. Yeah. Because you have seven days. Yeah. So we owe God, amen, one day a week. Uh -huh. And so he gave us, amen, the Sabbath. Yeah. Now, the Hebrew Sabbath and the Christian Sabbath are two different things. Right. Right. The Hebrew Sabbath was Sabbath. Uh -huh. Amen. And it began, amen, at 12 that night. All the way through, amen, Saturday to 12 the next. Right. Amen. According to their calendar. That's right. But our day starts on Sunday morning. Right. First day of week. Yeah. All week long. Right. Oh, yeah. Amen. amen. We should be celebrating. Yes. But he gives us all week and he takes care of us mm -hmm. for us to give him one day. That's right. right. I used to wonder why the Pentecostal, amen, would come to worship at 8 o'clock and then they would yes. worship, uh, their service would be at 11 and they would get out about 12.30 or 1 and then they would go back at 6 and then they would stay to 9 to 9.30. Yes. And I never saw black black we were complaining about being in service for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. And they were going to church day and night. And I was wondering to myself, what's going on? It's almost like there's a reversal. I listened to my grandbaby, she was complaining about the fact that with her with her biological amen grandmother on the white perspective, and she says, Grandpa, my white grandparents don't understand what I'm facing. <laughs> I have never been called white in my life. So when they tell me about white privilege, amen, I don't even know what that means. Hello? Amen? I'm going to tell you something. You don't really know what it means for somebody to go to church morning and night yeah. when you're complaining about just going in the day. You don't know where they are, what they're doing. They used to have to come to us to pray for them. But they've seen something in us. Amen. Amen. They've seen yes. something in us yes, that does not reflect mm. who we said we represent and who we said we believe in. Y'all yeah. yeah. say, well, colors don't shouldn't make a difference. It shouldn't. Amen. But they do. Yes, sir. Y'all know that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. They introduced a word to us this year called systemic racism. Uh -huh. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There have been social, amen, personalities who've been dealing with injustice for years. For years. They already knew that there was systemic yeah. racism Amen. that caused us to be deprived okay. in certain yes. pendulums yes. of our living experience. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Economically, we've been socially deprived. Yes. And then, amen, continued on. Yes, it's a systematic yes, slavery yes. Yes, sir. that has been introduced in our lives. Amen. And we hate each other. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Somebody says, no, we don't hate each other. Yes, sir. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Preachers know it. Yes, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Preachers know it. Because yes. you hate on them. <laughs> the, the very person that God has assigned to address to right. deal yeah, with you. Hey man, you're hating on them. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want them to tell you the truth. Hey right. man, well, then you'll get upset with them because they told you the truth because you wanted to hear it from somebody else. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey man, they they want they want me to be light complexed with curly hair, yeah. closer to white. 
And then you might listen to me. Allow my vernacular to change. And start talking to you. I might look more pleasant to you. But I thank God I'm chocolate. Yes, I thank God I'm chocolate. Amen. Yeah, that's what James Brown told me. I've been listening to him too. Yeah. We got to get out of what they trained or planted in our minds uh, in the degradation of our own race. We are bigger and better and God has shown us who we are. We are special in the sight of God and God has rid us up for such a time as this. Yes. Extremely special to God. Yes, <laughs> so I want to tell you, grandbaby, you're special. Yes. Yes. Yeah. God thought enough of you to let you come over to the chocolate side. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta think <laughs> that you're special. Of itself. Amen. Each individual personality yes, yes, has to believe yes, that they're special to God. Yes, yes, sir. And then you gotta have a purpose. Your purpose ought to be to please God. Your purpose ought to be that's why you ought to come to church. That's why you ought to make a difference. That's why you ought to be vigorously working, amen, for the pursuit of doing what you need to do for God. Amen. Amen. Worried about people talking about you. They talked about Jesus. Jesus was turning water into wine. Jesus was healing the sick, raising the dead. And still they talked about him. He was feeding 5,000 with two fish and five barley loaves. Seeing crippled and lame, demonic possessed. And coming upon them and heal them and still yeah. call him a visible yeah. son of the devil. Yeah. Oh, they did. They spit on him. Yeah. Put a crown of thorns around his head. Yeah. Oh, and then you complain to somebody, somebody talking about you. I told you you better put a smile on your face. Yeah. Amen. And thank God that they're talking about you. Yes, Lord. I think your chest out there. I must be doing something. That's right. 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 Talk right. about right. you. Right. 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 Amen. 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 So the Bible said, be, uh, be well. Yeah. Yeah. When all men yes, sir. speak well we speak of you. Yeah. 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 But you got to be aware. Paul himself said, that you cannot become complacent and self-satisfactory. Uh, but Philippians 3, 12 and 13, Paul says, Not as though I had already attained either, for I already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend, that for which I am apprehended of, Christ Jesus. He says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Amen. You got to forget some stuff. Amen. You got to learn how, amen, not to retain some stuff. Amen. Weak people who try to cut you down, forget them. Born about your being. Do what you know you're supposed to be doing for God. Because if you get caught up in them, they can hold you there and wrestle with you and impede your progress. Church needs this. A vision of this dying world. A vision for what God can do. Amen. With us as a church. A vision of what God can do with us as individuals, Sunday school teachers, amen, members, brotherhoods, choir members, deacons, preachers, evangelists, pastors, urchins, praise teams, musicians, amen, sound tech, video technicians. We need to see the vision. Amen. And then we need to come together as a church. Amen. And focus on that vision. Yeah. Get out of all of this, who likes me? Yeah. All you can talk about is who you don't like. Oh, yeah. There's too much out here. Oh, yeah. Corona running rampant. Yeah. 
We need to be looking out for our brothers and sisters. We need to be yes. praying. What was that guy named the other day? Hank. Uh, Hank Aaron. Aaron. Hank Aaron. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was going to take the shot. To convince some folk. <laughs> Boy, that they ought to take it. It didn't go as well as Hank thought it would. <laughs> Hank took the shot. And the shot took him. Fire nineteen. I mean fire. No, he, he did die. Uh, I mean, say what shot? You COVID nineteen. I know there was several shots. Uh, well, that, that's the shot. He didn't take the other shot. What shot? He didn't take the other shot. Whatever shot, the other shot was. You mentioned it. It wasn't me. Oh, that's a good shot. Second leg. Second leg. Yeah, yeah. I will take. We not only, Amen. Should we not become complacent, but we should not forget, Amen, our convictions. Forget convictions are the things in which we absolutely believe, because what we believe determines the decision we make. Amen. If you believe in something, then you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If you believe that you're special to God, if you believe you can do a job, if you believe yes, that you're going to be blessed, you'll be blessed. Yes, Amen. Amen. But it's about your belief. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you believe yes. in your heart. That's yes. right. Amen. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. Be saved. Be saved. Amen. Amen. You gotta believe. You got to. Yes, your convictions about the power of prayer to change things. Yeah. You gotta believe. Yeah. Amen. Because you believe in the God you pray to. Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob all pray. Joseph, Hezekiah, Daniel, and Paul and Sidon all pray. Yeah. Y'all remember Paul and Sidon? Yeah. Yeah. In a Philippian prison? Yeah. Yeah. Down in the innermost part of the prison, had prayer meeting at midnight. Yeah. yeah. The Bible said that after they began to sing songs and hymns and pray, yeah. something miraculous happened. Yeah. Amen. And there came an earthquake. Yeah. And it was more than an earthquake because the Bible says that the dead jail cells all flung open. Yeah. Not only did they, amen, uh, fling open, amen, somebody had a key. Yeah. Because all of the, amen, Chambers. And the locks fell yeah. off of him. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and, and God did it all. Because he knew that those two boys right. understood their purpose. Yeah. Yes, sir. They were there for a reason. Yeah. They might not have understood it. But because they were committed unto God, yeah. they went on and sang hymns and prayed. Yeah. And then the jailer saw what had happened in the midst of night. He began to want to kill himself. Mm -hmm. And I heard a man Paul say, do thyself no harm. Yeah. For we are all here. Yeah. See, he had to kill himself because if the prisoners would have escaped, he amen, he would have faced the death penalty. Yes, yes. So he was fitting to kill himself. Yes, and they had to save him. And he said, amen, what must I do to be saved? Yes. And he said, not only just me, but my whole family. Yes, God had sent them there for a mission. Now, they would have had a pity party that night. They would have not ever saw the purpose of God. And while we're happy these pity parties, talking about folk dying all around us, yet they're dying all around us. That ought to be a sign. Amen. That you ain't dying. And they dying all around you. And death happened overtook you. Then you ought to shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said it's personal. He said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And he said, and be not conformed 
to this world. Please, brothers and sisters, the money looks good, but they figured out a way to get it back from you. And Sammy Davis Jr. As Bill Cosby. Yeah, that's a as R. Kelly. Yeah. But they done figured out a way to get that money back from you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Not anymore. <laughs> it, 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 they know how to get the money back from you. Yes. Yes. They give you a pipe dream. Yes. Yes. And then they make you think that you've achieved uh, and become of a status quo uh, that's above other blacks. You've been accepted. Uh, yes. Hey, what my white friends used to tell me. They look right up on me to my Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like them. Like them. Yeah, they're going to say we're a pipe dream. No. By God, I'm not. I learned their vernacular. They go, how you doing, Jimmy? I said, I'm going to Bird of Midland. Oh yeah, I got hit the slang now. I can get the slang. Yeah. But I'm telling y'all, it is not a pipe dream that they can give you. Uh, Amen. Amen. We have purpose. Yes, sir. And we're only here for a short period of time. Yes. Amen. 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 I gotta ask y'all a question. Yeah. Since you went to church, yeah. are you better off? Yes, sir. Man. That you joined church yes, and accepted Christ. Yes, yeah. Amen. 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 It ain't like it was in Madam's class. It was a sporadic class. We, 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 oh, <laughs> what you want to do? You want to go to one and stop it? Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yeah. God. God has blessed us. Yes, he has. God bless us. And I'm going to tell you something. He didn't deserve it. No, no. He did it in spite of us. Amen. 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 And I bet we know we were but feel the rest. Say it now. Tell it. But he still blessed us in it. In spite of Church, we must be totally committed to God. Yes, Lord. Sunday school starts at 9. Reverend Lee. The reason why we got so much amen division in and around the church is yes. because everybody don't go to Sunday school. You don't know the word. Yes. You don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Yes. Amen. One week you out there with the deeds. Yes. Yes. All right, tell it. You got horns on. Just yes. like you know. You got, you got, you got to come to find yourself. Yeah. Then, I don't know what happens, but Somehow you feel guilty about it, yeah, or you just want to go to church. Uh, and the thing is, we can't stop you from coming to church. Amen. Our job is to encourage you to come. Amen. Amen. But don't you think we ought to be truthful with you? Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Tell you the truth. Yeah, the truth. And if you're around somebody, like, oh, he shouldn't have said that. Now say it. <laughs> what are you saying? That's right. See, these, these folk that are tell you something yeah, like right. that, they getting behind your back. Then that's right. You should tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> At least you ought to have somebody that will challenge you. Yeah, there you go. To now become go. more now committed go. to now, God. Now, now, now. Amen. 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 Sunday school does start at 9. 9 o'clock. Amen. 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 Bible study starts at 6 30. <laughs> Those are the only two avenues where you can learn Amen. the Word of God. Amen. 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 I got to ask you something. If my Mariah opened up a business uh -oh. and we was paying $52 an hour, <laughs> but the only way you could get the job. All right. Okay. You had to go to our orientation class. Yeah. It started at 6 30 on Wednesday night. Yeah. I like your answer. 
All the rest of them try to feel guilty. Girl, that's right. I've been there. I'll be there. That's what you got to look at. But 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 you got a better benefit program. You got the greatest benefits, the way this uh, super califragilistic expialidocious. You got something that nobody else can give you. All you got to do is go to Psalms 103 and look at the benefit program. He tells you the benefits of the law. And see, there's a clause in there that I like. He said he heals me of all disease. That means coronavirus amen, is a disease and he heals me. You got to know what's in there. You got to go in. Amen. Amen. Come on. Remember how hopeless and helpless you felt in life? But oh, I dare you to remember the message of the gospel. That lift your bow down here and store it your joy. Yeah. Yes, the gospel has the power to change lives. Yes, Lord. Yes, no. Saul of Tarsus wrote after his conversion in Romans 1 and 16. Uh -huh. He yeah. said, but I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, uh -huh. but it is the power of God of the salvation to everyone that believeth, yes. to the Jews first. first, and also to the Greeks. Yes. Yes. And last but not least, uh, not only, amen, should we, amen, love God, yes. Yes. but he says we must have compassion. Yes. The word compassion means to have sympathy and empathy yes. for someone who is suffering Distress. Yes. Matthew wrote of Jesus himself in chapter 9. Amen. Verse 36. But when he saw the multitude, yes. he was moved with compassion on them. Yes. Because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Yes. Compassion should move us into action. Yes. Like the four men on the other week, a man that saw a man, their friend Patrick the paralytic, a man that knew that Jesus was in the house. Thank God, all right. The Bible said they wanted to get him to Jesus, but he couldn't walk. Thank God, good. The Bible said each one of them. Got a leg of his cock, uh, and God good. Uh, and they went to the front door, mm, uh, and he couldn't get in. Holy Ghost, help me. Amen. And then uh, they decided to go on the rooftop, uh, and God good. Uh, the Bible says uh, they began to stand up, uh, amen, planking, uh, and the dirt uh, off of the rooftop. Uh, and they made their way to open a hole. And the Bible says uh, that they lowered uh, him uh, right down uh, in front of Jesus. Uh, thank God, all right. Uh, stop by the day uh, uh, on my way to heaven. Uh, we ought to be uh, carrying uh, somebody uh, that needs the Lord. Uh, thank God, good. Uh,
could do anything but fail. And when we take on the blood stained banner, believe that Jesus is the Son of the living God, and that He humbly died for your sins and mine. Laid in a bar of truth, stayed there three days and three nights. And He rose up with all power, heaven and in earth. Somebody tell you, God wants us to make a difference. God has already empowered us. God has already commissioned us. Somebody tell you.